Hi everyone, my name is Gloria Hoffman with the Simply Fit Board. Today we are going to be doing the advanced full body workout. Now this is for those of you who want to take your fitness to the next level. And of course, I'm here with all my beautiful ladies who've taken their fitness to the next level. We have Lauren, Sylvia, Andrea, and Diane with us. And they're gonna pump you up today. And remember, this can be done whether you're starting out or you're advanced, try it out, push yourself. But we're always gonna start out by warming up with two minutes of the basic twist. So let's go ahead and get started. Now with this basic twist, if you haven't watched it already, I recommend watching the Getting Started. It'll teach you exactly how to do it. Even if you have to hold on to a chair or a table when you first start doing this twist, totally okay. You're still working all of those stabilizing muscles, your legs, your ankles, your knees, your core, your lower back. If you're holding the hand weights, you're now working your upper back, your biceps, and your arms as well. Full body workout right here, but we're gonna kick it up two or three notches today and really get into it. But after you get warmed up, since this is the advanced full body workout, ladies, let's start twisting a little faster. Let's really work on getting that heart rate up. If you wanna try some of the HIIT training where you go at the high intensity interval training where you twist as hard as you can, as fast as you can for 20 seconds, slow it down for 10 and repeat that through this two minute workout. You can do that as well. You're gonna burn up to 400 calories more in the next 24 hours. So that's a beautiful thing to do, to really kick up that cardio and calorie burn. But I like to hold my um, hand weights at a 90 degree angle, almost like I'm running in place. Count steps on my fitness tracker. Every 10 minutes of twisting, I get about 1,200 to 1,500 steps in just by doing the twist. So we're getting there, guys. We're gonna start out with a deadlift into hammer curls into shoulder press. And we'll show you this as soon as we're done with our warm up. Push yourself, guys. This is the advanced version. So we really want to burn those calories, right? Ooh. We're going to get into it. We're going to get that heart rate up today for sure. All right. Almost done. Keep it up. Push yourself as hard as you can on these two minutes, this cardio section of the workout. We're going to get into deadlifts in just a few seconds. How you doing? <laughs> Pushing it. We got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Into deadlifts. We're gonna start out with deadlifts, come up. We're gonna go into hammer curls, push up to shoulder presses. That's one. We're gonna do 10 of these. Two, down, press those hips. Three, all right guys, come up. Four, this is really working those muscles. We're doing a few more repetitions of these as well. Five, all right. Work those glutes, biceps, triceps, shoulders, all with this one wonderful move. All right, two more after this one. Nine, and we're gonna go into squat pulses after this. Now with squat pulses, I like to hold my dumbbells like this, and I like to go down into a squat. You're gonna always keep your weight on your heel and your knees behind your toes. We're gonna go down, ladies, and we're gonna pulse three times, come back up, that's one. All right, one, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. Guys, we always want that nice booty. This is gonna get it get it for you. It's all about that base, right? <laughs> Those short booties. All right. We are on six. All right. Here we go. This is why it's advanced. Seven. Or that's eight. <laughs> Nine. I'm not going to add one extra one on for you guys. And ten. And now we're going to drop it down into push-ups with a little variation. We're going to do a push-up with a plank twist in between. And actually, I'll show you one and then I'll walk over to some of our models and show you how they do it. I'm gonna do the modified version of push-ups on my knees. Okay, go ahead and get down, Diane. Keep your back straight as you're doing these push-ups. We're gonna go down once, come up, and do a plank twist. That's one. Here we go. Two. This is working, of course, triceps, upper back. Three, here we go. Four, push it out, guys. This is why this is advanced. All right. 
six, that's seven. There we go. Couple more. Ooh, I know. Nine. One more. And ten. And now we're gonna get up and go into plank kick through. This is another great way to work those abs and those obliques. You're gonna kick through and touch your toe on one side. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, push it, nine, and 10. Good job. Yay. Now we're gonna go back into one minute of the basic twist, keeping that heart rate up as we're on our downtime. This is advanced, so I'd like you guys to try to push yourself as much as you can doing this basic twist. If you have to take a break, get some water, that's totally fine. This is really, really working every single major muscle group in your body. I know I'm feeling it already. How about you ladies, doing good? Yes. We want our whole body to look good. The abs, the booty, the glutes, and we definitely want those tank top arms. For sure. I'm gonna take a minute, twist with my arms down. That'll help me catch my breath just a bit and also give my arms just a little bit of a break. You can hold your arms at a 90 degree angle. If you almost run with them, you're really gonna be working those triceps, shoulders, and upper back. There's so many variations that you can do with the basic twist. We've got five seconds, four, three, two, and we're going into the deadlift, into the hammer curls, into the shoulder presses. Here we go. Use that music for motivation. Really push yourself here, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna get those beautiful, simply fit bodies in no time. Remember, this is just over 10 minutes of your day. It's nothing. Before you get up for work, I believe that is seven, <laughs> eight, I'm losing track. Nine, one more, and we're gonna go into squat pulses next. All right, I like to shift my dumbbells. Three, one, there we go. Two, so we're working those booties. Three, we got this, four. It's okay if it's burning a little bit. If you want to modify it and just do a normal squat, that's totally okay too. You're still getting those benefits. This is just taking it up a notch. This is seven, oh eight, <laughs> here we go. Diane's not gonna let me get away with one. All right, one more, 10, all right. We are now gonna go into the push-ups with the plank twists again, getting that upper body and those arms in for the tank tops. All right, into push-ups, ready, down. One, plank twist, two, three and I'm gonna walk over here there's four I'm gonna show you how Lauren is doing it you can see literally everybody in every muscle in her body is working right now her arms her upper back that plank twist really gets that bra fat area I call it and the back fat area and you're working your core doing that next we are going to go in to plank there's skin plank kick throughs Starting now, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Really working those obliques. Now back up into the basic twist. We only have one more circuit, guys. We can do it. <laughs> Take a little breather, but not too long because we gotta keep that heart rate up. This is for the advanced crowd. I'm gonna take a little breather myself, right? <laughs> My heart rate's going up. Yeah. You guys doing good? Yeah. We have somebody who does triathlete stuff back there. She's a triathlete, so she's probably like, I got this. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm catching up. <laughs> I'm trying to get this. But one minute, guys. Push yourself if you can. Really, really work up that heart rate. Burn that fat. Work those abs. I always like to, uh, to stress my core, to flex it. 
the more you flex it and keep it tight, the more your back is straight, the more ab work you're going to get in this one minute of cardio that we have. We're gonna move when we're done into the deadlifts again. Four, three, two, and one. Down to deadlifts. I'm gonna keep better track this time. That's one. All right, focus on hip thrust as you come up from your deadlift. This is three. Last one, guys. Last circuit. Let's push it on this circuit. Here we go. Five. All right. Six. Good job, ladies. Everyone following at home, you can do this. You got this. All right. We got one more. <laughs> one more. We think we threw in an extra. That's okay. All right. Down into squat pulses. Here we go. Get centered, get balanced. All right, down. One, two, three. That's one. Two, three. Just think about getting in that bikini this summer or that swimsuit or those shorts. I know it's always motivating for me to think about that. I know after I had a baby, I planned a vacation a couple months later because I really wanted something to motivate me into getting back into shape. Nine, last one. All right, we're gonna go down into the push-ups with the plank twist. We are almost there, oh, and I am feeling it. I hope you guys are, it's a good thing. I like to feel it. I always say it hurts so good. Okay, down into push-ups. One, plank twist, two, here we go. Work that upper back, those shoulders, Push-ups are one of my favorite overall exercises. A lot of times I'll twist and just do push-ups. This is eight. Two more, guys. We're gonna go into the plank kick-throughs and this is our last move of the circuit. So let's, I put my hands through the board with the planks. Keep the, I'm gonna show you over here. I'm gonna go back to Sylvia and Andrea. I'm gonna pick on you guys just for a minute. So get into your planks. Let's go ahead and do those kick-throughs. As you can see, it just works those obliques like crazy. You wanna keep that, that core and that back straight. As these guys are doing, kick through and flex those obliques. As these girls are doing, I gotta break this last time. That's not fair, right? All right, there we go. That's 10. Good job. Let's cool down with one minute of the basic twist. We are done with our circuit. And I know it felt like forever, but that was just a few minutes and it's worth it. The results will be worth it. It will push you to keep coming back over and over and over. And if you tried this workout, and it's the first time you kind of wanted to do one of the advanced workouts and you had to take some breaks, totally okay. I applaud you for pushing yourself, getting out of your comfort zone. That is what busts plateaus. When you're in a weight loss plateau or a fitness plateau, you wanna do something new, something that you're not used to, to really get over that hump. And so even if you didn't make it all the way through or you had to take a few breaks, it's okay. You are still working in your fitness journey and you're you know, working on becoming Simply Fit, which is awesome. That's all we can do off the couch before work, when the kids go to bed, when it's nice and quiet, do it on your lunch break. We got five more seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Good job, thank you everyone for joining us. Like I said, you are now on your way to becoming Simply Fit.